Thank you very much to the viewers for staying with us on STV for the news. Uh, in this newscast, businessmen in Bamenda say economic activities have been paralyzed, negatively affecting end-of-year festivities. More on Christmas preparations in the Northwest region in this newscast. We shall also be taking you to Douala where traders uh, say uh, for people or parents are coming mostly for suits for the boys and the girls have to do with the usual flowery gown. Good afternoon once more and thanks for joining us on this edition at 1 p.m. in this newscast on STV. And we can start this newscast in the political capital Douala where SDF MPs convene in a press conference at the central regional headquarters of the party chaired by Senator Zhang Tumelong, the Secretary General of the party. The issues centered on the evolution of the parliamentary session as well as the recent developments on the Yangufun crisis. Let's now have the reaction of Honorable Banazem that he was speaking at the end of the press conference. In response to our very strong action, which is calling for the attention of everybody, the speaker who ought to have had the reflection of a statement was trying to mock at the SDF, at the SDF parliamentarian, that we were brewing whistles, we were doing uh, brewing vuvuzelas and so on. We want to say that he should, re he should rise up to the level of a statement and interpret what we did. If he thinks that what we did was simply brewing whistles and vuvuzela, we are saying that Cameroonians should understand what we did, that we are crying for a country which is uh, about to collapse. We are crying for our children who are indefinitely in detention. We are crying for our children who are not going to school. We are crying for soldiers and citizens who are dying on a daily basis. That is the message we are sending by blocking parliament so that they should not read the budget which has no meaning. The lawyers and so on. And uh, so uh, this should be very, very clear to you, the journalist, so that it should not be that mockery which he tried to make of our action should be sent back to the sender. We stay in the political capital Yaoundé to talk about the death of the SG of the National Assembly. Victor Yene Isomba, 70 years old, succumbed to an illness at the Yaoundé General Hospital. He was last seen at the National Assembly during the presentation of government's socio-economic agenda for 2018 by Prime Minister Philemon Yang. Our reporter Mihai Siabji Yaoundé was at his home and took the reactions of some family members. He was sick, he was sick, he was sick, but we didn't know that it would be like this. Yes, yes, but God is there. He, he is the one who knows exactly when the hour to go, and I think it was his hour. I don't know what to tell you. I can't even believe it. It's a big loss, a, a very big loss. I don't know. I don't have words to explain it to you, yes, but what I know is that it's, he was the cancer, he was the person, the rock in the family, yes, yes, it's a big loss for the family, a big loss for the entire Mfundi, and we are just praying God to help the family, yes, to give them strength, to support this and who knows from the center region we take you to the northwest region where northwest governor adolf lila freak has called on stakeholders of the public contract sector to ensure a satisfactory execution of the 2018 projects and avoid corruption he was speaking while launching the 2018 public contract for the northwest region the conference on the programming of public contracts has taken place in the Northwest region. During the exercise, the governor of the Northwest region thanks the organizers for making the program journal available on time. 
Meanwhile, the inspector in charge of public contracts gave some measures taken by the government. This launching that we start, we do uh, in December, is to make sure that uh, uh, all the tender files are ready by the 1st of January and we start launching. So all the all what uh, is uh, supposed to be done for it to be to go ahead uh, easily has already been done. According to the governor of the region, firm recommendations have been given to all the stakeholders involved to reduce the level of malpractices in the sector. We have declared uh, some uh, malpractices that are still ongoing in the process and uh, we have given firm recommendations to all the stakeholders to make sure all those malpractices are reduced. Why not suppress uh, this uh, it is that is coming the corruption the exhibition of government and uh, also uh, some of the stakeholders uh, that are not uh, doing their best uh, to help uh, the contractors achieve their goals, but also the contractors that are not uh, well executing their projects. They should also uh, improve on the quality of the services rendered to the public and to the state. With the measures put in place, the stakeholders are hoping for a better 2018. We now take you to the southwest region where traders in cocoa producing areas in Meme Division are decrying low sales, especially during this festive period. The drop in the prices of cocoa in the world market is attributed to this poor business situation. Daniela Neba, Marcel Toy. Traders of cocoa producing area markets who used to champion the sales of Christmas items have expressed serious fear for not having their already stocked products sold as a result of the poor cocoa prices. Visiting one of the biggest markets in the Konya subdivision this Saturday, with over 20 villages depending on the market to shop for their items, the situation was sad as businessmen and women could be found sleeping in their shops. Some shop owners hold the ongoing anglophone crisis to be responsible for the low sales recorded during this period. The crisis we are facing, things are not moving. You can put, you can even put uh, any amount in your business. It's not moving. It's not moving. So we are crying for government to help us. Things are not moving to stop the crisis. Cocoa farmers in these areas said they depend only on the mercy of God to cope with the present situation. They noted that despite their hard work, they are still unable to cater for the needs of their children because of the price drop. It's bad, up and down. Sometimes you will hear 700, sometimes you will hear 650, sometimes you will hear 810 francs, sometimes you hear that again you have drop again to 720. So in short, and now there is nothing. Nobody can tell that these people like this might give me about <laughs> three ways. Meanwhile, some traders are still optimistic that the importance of Christmas to some parents will force them to buy items even on the D Day. This is Christmas period, the period of celebration. People must buy for their children. Like many other villages of the southwest region, little or no preparations for Christmas are being seen. Like mentioned in a headline, business. Uh, persons in the Northwest region see economic activities have been paralyzed, negatively affecting end-of-year festivities and preparations. The socio-political crisis in the English-speaking regions of the country has negatively affected businesses, they say. Details with Henry Wana. Barely few weeks to Christmas, the population of Bamenda, particularly traders, are yet to witness the bustling and bricks business, which usually characterizes the period. Well, this year, uh, we, are, we, are really, we are really confused compared to last year because due to the condition in the uh, country, we are really, uh, the, 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 the business is really down. So we are still confused. If uh, as time, time, time is going on, we don't know what there will be change or how. So we are still confused. In the market, we are very cheap. But now, 
it's very difficult because uh, we don't have Kaku, Kaku again. You can look around, around this shop, you can see that everything is uh, just in a zigzag manner because uh, things are not moving well. With their shops loaded with all sorts of goods begging for buyers, the traders continue to hope as the weeks die down to days for the feast. But from next week on, at the, on the 15, things will be well moving in the market. Thing is not going as it was. So that by God's place, we know that things will be fine. Nevertheless, Christmas decorations are in every street of the city of Bamenda, more visible at night, expressing the city's readiness to welcome the birth of our Savior Jesus Christ. In Douala, traders say this festive season has come with a variety of suits, designs for the boys and girls we have to do with their normal flowery gowns. The Onyeka Aji was at some markets here in the economic capital and now present the preference this season. Access into the market may be strenuous, but no one seems worried. This is a clear picture of most markets in Douala, just 12 days to Christmas. Parents, mostly mothers, are busy selecting clothes for their little ones. <laughs> Not even the scorching sun can stop the hustle and bustle at the Douala Central Market. Flower gowns for the girls with different colors. This year, vendors say the boys are on the spotlight. Either a two-tone suit or one with a mau collar. Prices for these elegant clothes range between 11,000 to 15,000 CFC francs. Different. Et des modèles différents. For those who just want their kids to look good on Christmas Day, a pair of trousers and a t-shirt would do. Cost price, 7000 maximum. Traders see Christmas sales began since the 15th of November and will continue until the end of this December month. Sport football in this newscast, a heroic welcome for the 2017 champions of the Cup of Cameroon. New Stars FC of Douala was received at the Little Hall Governor's Office. That was yesterday, Wednesday, after making a stop in a day at the residence of late former Indomitable Lion Benjamin Massin. The team made a tour across the economic capital Douala, brandishing the trophy to the population. Philemon Ballet was with the caravan alongside Julie Paul. In December 2015, I was on the same assignment to receive the winners of the Cup of Cameroon. Back then, it was UMS of Lune who lost at this year's finals one go to nothing to New Stars of Douala. It was a heroic welcome at the governor's office today, Wednesday, December 10th. The government delegates appreciated the team's effort while the club's president took out time to present both the players and the technical staff. At the end of the day, the governor was handed an early Xmas gift. In return, the regional chief shepherd offered 400,000 francs CFA to the entire team and the man of the match, Nanju, was given a token of 100,000 francs CFA. The team was given the unique honor to show off the trophy in the city of Douala. A huge festive display accompanied the last stop at the Panda Omnisport Stadium and next.
Not surprisingly, their noisy neighbors, Union of Douala, was not present to leave the moment as new stars of Douala claim bragging rights of the city. The actors have expressed endless joy following the warm reception they received at the governor's office. Man of the match, Nanju, team captain, Nook, midfielder, Harry Ako, head coach, Lohan Jam, and club president, Foster Dumke, in that order, in the following reactions. I'm really surprised but impressed with the reception. It really touches my heart. We have been working hard to the finals and then came the opportunity. So we had to take it and we did just that. I'm extremely delighted with the presence of all the authorities of the region and of course that really makes us proud. We came here to present the trophy to the governor and the population. We are champions of the Cup of Cameroon. The entire region is champion as both finalists are from the littoral region but particularly the city of Douala gets the honor. It's our pleasure to be here today. Yeah, uh, it is a pleasure for us. Uh, we were not expecting this type of, uh, of uh, recession that we are having this morning. But we are very, very happy because uh, the Little Rye region is, uh, is showing to us this day that they are very happy with what we were able to, to present in Yaoundé. And they are very happy with the gift that we have given them this day. So we, we are very happy and we say a very big thank you to them. The more utilized, the more utilized, it's more utilized, it's more utilized because we have given we told the players to stay concentrated, especially following the postponement of the finals, which needed a psychological approach to stay focused. In terms of continental assignments, we have to do it differently this year. I personally like challenges, and I think it is what we will do. I am very happy. You know, the governor gave, it, gave me my, my happy birthday, everything. So I can say, I would say to you, thanks. What's the secret to the victory? Secret, work, work and work. Discipline. No talk. No talk, no talk. And it is with the champions of the 2017 Cup of Cameroon that we put an end to this edition of the 1 p.m. English newscast on STV. Join René Nazis Moto at exactly 7 p.m. For the news in the French language and Peter Associate at 8 p.m. for the news in the English language. Meantime, stay in the company of programs on STV. Bye bye. STV, votre télé.